An empty New Freedom Park helps tell the story of this East Colfax community that doesn't feel safe. It's cool to talk, 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 but we need action. These kids need to be able to go to the park. Instead, the people who live at Hiddenbrook Apartments pack themselves in the basement because of gun violence outside. Nobody deserves to live where, like, with fear every single day. As the director of Denver 911, police and lawmakers listen, they sit underneath the photos of people who lived in this building and have been killed. And the lack of response is completely unacceptable. Nearly everyone here knew the woman who was shot on July 15th. Witnesses say a stray bullet fired from the park hit and killed Ma Kang. Ma came to this country as a refugee from Burma with her family more than 15 years ago. As far as us, it would have been five. I had an older sister murdered back in Thailand. So there's a lot of trauma back there. Trauma that Ma's son, John Lewin O, oh, couldn't escape here. As neighbors called the cops, as I was holding my mother's body, I saw her eyes, I saw her last breath, everything. As I yelled for my mother not to die, she was gonna die. When somebody's calling about saying my mother got shot in the head, nobody on the other side should be saying, let me change you to a different line or let me dispatch you to a different department because you're in the wrong department. Nobody should be hearing those words. Several people here say they heard that same message when they called 911 because they live so close to Aurora. They know why this happens, but they want solutions. I've come into this community. I've worked here for 35 years. I started here in District 2 and I love this community. But we have to do better. They'll be back in this basement next week in hopes of finding some way to stay safe. Have a good one. Katie Eastman, 9 News.